Hi, this is George Foshan of Call Realty Best Palos Verdes Homes, and this is the new Altos Real Estate Chart Service. Uh, Altos Real Estate is a third-party real estate think tank that I've invested um, a lot of money in so that you guys can have access to some great metrics on the real estate market specific to the South Bay. Uh, the Areas that are profiled in my system are Palos Verdes Estates, Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills Estates, Rancho Palos Verdes, uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula, Redondo Beach, 90277 and 90278, uh, Torrance, 90505 and 90503, Hermosa Beach, and Manhattan Beach. And if you've been using my system for a while, you've probably just recently received the new uh, update it works a little different. If you'll recall, in the past you were getting a, an email with a PDF file. This is way better. All right, so in this demonstration, I'm profiling Palos Verdes Estates. And the first thing that you'll see is what the market action index is for the area, what it was last month and what it is today. And the market action index, if you'll recall, is a proprietary algorithm in which we're measuring supply and demand factors to determine how strong or weak the market is. Generally, a number, an index above 30, uh, implies a seller's market, under 30, a buyer's market. And then as you go down, scroll down a little bit, well, and then there's a, 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 a review of what's going on right here. And then as you scroll down a little bit, um, you'll see, you'll start seeing the charts, and you'll see how it's interactive because you, as you, hover your mouse over different sections of the of the graph itself uh, you'll see uh, what the number is. This drop down arrow is important because this is where you're going to see all the charts that you're used to seeing. So you can choose price per square foot or let's go back with the market action index and you can click segments to view the um, four price quadrants that we're using to describe the market. I mean, not all, not all price sections behave the same, right? There's supply-demand changes for every price. So you may be interested in breaking the, the charts up into, um, into those price quadrants. So that's it for right now. Um, let me know if you'd like more information. Remember, there is the market snapshot system that you should also combine with this because whereas this system is more of a macro review of the market. If we go to bestpalosverdeshomes.com and we'll let that page load in just a second. There we go. Um, and then hover your mouse over the four power tools and choose market snapshot insight. The market snapshot is a more of a micro uh, viewpoint of, of the market. It takes the individual MLS area, not just a zip code or a city, an MLS area uh, to profile supply and demand trends and other uh, information. Uh, okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching the video and you can contact me in two ways, either down here in the bottom left um, or any of these buttons up here or you can use my new uh, artificial intelligent bot called Little George and type your questions in here. Alrighty, thanks, bye for now.